Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Yeah, Black Ops 4. Running with my buddy Ice on this one. Team Death Got you two game plays on the same map. MTC is live. Uh, go, I'm just go, trying to hold go. it down like a sock. You already know. I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, are having a wonderful, blessed, beautiful day. Taking care, get through this work week, whatever your case may be. Got it. Running the old ICR. Losing the fight. Grip one, grip two, and quick draw with the red dot. Hanging out in the woods on this side of the map. Losing this. Battery kill. Taking my time. Oh yeah. So I was wondering, you know, how's everybody enjoying the game? Uh, is everybody still grinding it out? Uh, I noticed that here lately it seems like everybody's partied up. So it seems like if you ain't in a three to six man party, it's almost impossible to get the win. Oh, yes. Yeah, they want it to be team, team based where you depending on the teammates. In like old Black Ops 3, you can just run two guys and know what they're doing and hold it down. And they'll put several Timmy No Thumbs on your team and make you try to hold them all, hold them all afloat. I'm gonna tell you right now, that's a hard thing to do in this game. You got specialist abilities and weapons that can kill you. You got these breaky shotguns in here that can kill you easy. Sniper rifles seem to be a lot easier to use. I'm getting dudded up by a oh, Snuck up behind him. Lost the advantage. A lot of different stuff is killing me in this game, guys. And it's harder and harder to try to stay alive and get you. I don't even know if I could get like a flawless yeah. gameplay that would be respectable. Get out of here with that nose breaker. Uh, I think one of the gameplays on this one I'm bringing you today was a flawless, but... It is a little baby flawless. It wasn't nothing like 20, 30 kills without dying. I think it was like 18 or 19 and 0 or something. So, yeah, it is kind of tricky, guys. So, uh, but I think in time, once, you know, some, some of the casuals who get the game after Christmas come on, I think the game will hopefully chill out as far as the sweat level. Uh, because the sweat level right now is way up past 100. And if you ain't doing good, oh, you ain't doing good, you're gonna, you're gonna go super negative. Wow. Shoot first, die first. That's also a reoccurring thing with this game, too. And depending on the connection, depending on the connection of the opposition that you're playing against. You could be shooting these enemies first and die first, which is ridiculous. But honestly, I think that's what's going on here. And, and uh, it is frustrating to a lot of people. Especially people who are known for going positive most of the times. And you get in these lobbies where the connection's glitchy. Let's just put it that way. Uh, it's impossible to try to stay alive. Uh oh, inbound. get inside. Man, they dropping streaks on us. So, yeah, I, as far as connection goes, man, that's just going to be a reoccurring thing, I think, for the rest of the year. Um, not looking to buy anything in black market at this point. I sure got a list of stuff I'd like to see them fix before worrying about putting new content in the supply drops for people to go and buy. Uh, I'm not into costumes and, and uh, camouflages on my weapon. I really don't care about that. That's not really going to help you win games. Uh, now, if they got a new weapon out there that drops and melts people, yeah, I'd be interested in getting that. But as far as like just a camo on a character or a camo on my gun, I'm not interested. Hey, take yeah, sell that to somebody that's into that kind of stuff. Because that's not going to help you win a game or help you do anything. That's just going to make you look prettier out on the battlefield. So I'm going to go ahead and put these trip mines down. And I like running uh, No Man on this map. Just for simple fact that the trip wires easy to hide. 
uh, with all these little palm bushes and stuff like that, Sega bushes, you can hide them inside it. Uh, and so they're easy to get the trip wire as to chasing me over and over. So today's guys, we're going to a sniper's nest. I don't think they get anything higher than that. But at least we did get you some score streaks to get get going and get in this thing. Look at my dog. Just chilling. He's like the dog off a ghost. Remember that? You call a rally in. Dog would just sit there beside you. Look, I'm right here. I get dudded up. I don't even think my dog kills that guy who killed me. Ah, man. I get the worst luck with the dog, man. Sometimes I call him in and he'll get four, six kills. Sometimes I call him in and he don't get a like this game. I don't, I don't think he got me a single kill, guys. Sniper's Nest at least getting me a couple kills. And of course, this is a little blowout here, you know. Look, 60 to 30. I mean, it is what it is. Sniper's Nest at least getting a couple kills. There's that old crazy shotgun. Everybody's putting the flashlights on. That's another thing. That strobe light. I got hit with that last night. That's some cheese on that gun, man. That thing is really OP. Oh, he got razor wire right there by my trip mine. Marking care package LZ. And this this place right here in the map, it's kind of a you know, it's a high risk, high reward. Yeah, you might see a lot of people running down that bridge, but chances are you can get dudded up by it just about anything out in the open like that. Oh got him. That's his so we clean him up and put him down. And shout out to my buddy Ice for running with me on that one. But on this game here, I think it's my buddy DG running with me. So I'm going to play with the ICR. I got the little target target finder on it. Help me uh, adjust for seeing these enemies with these old eyes. And I like how it glows red around the edges, letting me know there's an enemy inside that that field of vision right there and on you know on this map particular guys this is how I like to play this map I like to stay on this side of the map and kind of just work them as they're trying to trap. come around I got your little trip irons and I don't die on this one guys but this is a little slower gameplay so you know I try to slow it down and try to get some score streaks going and as you can tell from last game I switched my score streaks uh, I had like sniper's nest and uh, whatever that thing is that's like the warthog and the paratroopers which I didn't get but Assault just the sniper's right nest so on this one guys I run Deploy care package hailstorm and uh, either a tack chop or a sniper's nest and I think I bring it to you live and direct today and get all these streaks on this one. So, teammates running out there. I'm checking the six to make sure we don't get flanked. Oh, there's somebody. Got him. Keep an eye on the spawns to make sure they don't flip around because they sure will real quickly. Double check it one more time. Nope. Yep. There's somebody. Hit him with that jump shot. And that's our thing, man. That jump shot's really good. And the knee slide shot. But the uh, drop shot is not usable. usable. It just makes you go to a knee instead of dropping to the ground. You know how uh, back in Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1, you know, you hit the drop shot, it would drop straight to the ground. And uh, now, because of the knee slide, they make you go to a knee first, and that'll mess up things. So I'm gonna drop the care package back here. Drop this the care is, package on my beat. Again, another safe spot to drop your care package, just because you're kind of out of the line uh, line of fight, and so you're off off in the side, and they don't really mess with you over here as much. Drop that care package in the middle of the map. Could be trouble. So there's a drone squad. I wait till I get towards the middle of the map to call that thing in. 
just because simply it'll be a waste over here. Not very many people over here. But you get out here by in front of this bridge, might as well call it in. Nomad authorizing drone squad deployment. Somebody in there. Drone squad got him. Got old boy on bridge. Streaks are gonna be adding up here in just a tad. Oh, he's still on bridge. Alright, we got the mesh mine. Let's go ahead and drop that little bad boy. Pop, lock, and drop it. Feel that banana. My buddy D got him a little triple with the hailstorm. Turn down, D. Q stores open. I ain't seen a soul back here, huh? Man, the recoil. It's so manageable with this weapon. Alright, so we got your health score. Drop the bomb on me, baby. Nice. Oh, behind us. That's a why I like that six cents. See how I just turned around on young man? If I didn't have six cents, I probably would have got shot in the back right there. That's one of the things I do like about using that six cents perk. The acoustic sensor. What piece of equipment are y'all using? Are y'all using the stem shot? I think the stem shot and acoustic sensor are the two probably most used uh, tactical pieces of equipment. Uh, I personally like the six cents just because I like dead silence and awareness. Here's the old dog. Let's see if old, ne old Betsy will run out there and get us something. There he goes. There's one. Sniper's nest going back in. There's two. Put him on it. 19 and 0. Ready to go. I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed. That means our time's up. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll be bringing you much, much more. I'm on time, guys, and I'm out.